The Rancor's Brothel presents... A Dungeons and Dragons campaign. Out of Out the of abyss. abyss. How's it going, everybody? Um, last time, some choices were made, and some people got dragged along without knowing they were gonna. So tonight, we're gonna see what happened to Morik and Elenel. Uh, Morik, can, can I just say real quick that uh, when I come home from gaming, um, you know, usually the wife and the kid are asleep, and, and they were this past time, and. Uh, <laughs> So I go to bed, I wake up in the morning, we're having coffee, and Natalie's like, hey, how was gaming last night? And I'm like, oh, you know how like every six to eight weeks I come home and proclaim that I've completely fucked up the game for everybody by doing something completely irrational or stupid? And she said, yeah. I was like, that happened. And she's like, say no more. And we just went about our day. Didn't even have to explain the story to her. So, although I did, because yeah. I thought it was kind of badass. Um, yeah, so, Morik. Hey. Yeah. Hey there, DM, how you doing? So, bright flash. Ooh. Uh, you, as you're, I mean, you, you get like a split second where your vision's coming back. You're used to darkness. A little spotty, probably. A little right? spotty. Uh, yeah. You're in a completely different cavern. Oh. You have just that split second to kind of take in the area around you. Dimly lit, fungus everywhere. And then you're falling. Ah! <laughs> Are you going to... As you're falling, you can see water below you. How far am I falling? Just judging here. Yeah, 40 feet. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a... Oh, fuck. Just go limp, ragdoll it? or uh, No, I'm probably going to uh, uh, probably do the pencil, you know, the jackknife pose. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, but not locking my knees in case I hit the bottom. Well, here's the thing. I... I want you to think of this more as me helping you than dealing you damage. But Oh, then in that case I'm flailing like oh. what the fuck? <laughs> oh god. Uh you you try to fall into the water as gra- gracefully as you can, but you you hit the top of the water like it's solid ground. Yeah. I'm I'm not so much dealing you damage as That's saving good, saving you don't have character sheets. Saving you a couple hundred gold. Okay. Uh you're in the middle of this lake. It's probably a good hundred feet across. Okay. Uh, you're about forty feet in, and you are laying on top of the water. Oh, oh! I think I read about a guy that does this. <laughs> Neat. He got Ow. denied three times too. Oh, Jeffrey, <laughs> don't make me break character. <laughs> oh, my my butt hurts. How? Your your mind goes back to that ring you put on. I'm out. You found a ring on a skeleton covered in mold. Oh, right, 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 right. right. And you weren't sure what it did. I so looked I put at, it on to hope I could uh, attune. I looked it up. You don't, it does not require attunement. Oh, okay. Yeah, it just works. And now you're walking on water. That's fucking cool. <laughs> that is so cool. What's it called? A ring of water walking. I really feel like the naming department needs to step up their game. But okay. <laughs> but yeah. Cool. Oh you, god, that oh that that ting oh that stung. Fuck. Yeah, that that would have been like three d six of damage. I, oh, I don't know what you were at after that fight. But, oh, um, you see movement along the shore. What's that? Hello. Uh, you see a a small gang of quagoths and these big bird things that you haven't. I don't think you guys have dealt with yet. But there, there was a flying demon back at the uh, prison. No, this What's isn't a demon. At? Okay. Uh, just a weird bird. I mean, you're a dwarf. You have experience with a little bit of the Underdark. You'd know what a hook horror is. A hook uh, horror? Hook horror. Horror. Okay. Yes. A uh, big, large-sized bird. Their arms end in hooks. Yeah, I probably wouldn't have yelled then. I'm yeah. just going to retcon that. They're very slow-moving. They're shambling, almost. Oh, my. And back behind them, you can see a bunch of mushroom. Okay, so the mushroom people, are they... Um... And you mean they're like Mike and Yeah, Mike and Okay. Um 
they're marching in an, a formation behind the Quagoths who are in a formation, or the 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 Quagoths and Hook Horrors are moving up towards the shore. Okay. Do they do they see me? The, yeah, it looks like they saw this bright this bright flash and are trying to figure out what it is. Okay, so they probably they might not see me because they probably had the same spotty vision then because they're all mm-hmm. natural under dark dwellers. Sure. They might actually not recover as fast as me. Is there any outcropping of rock uh, jutting out of the water? A at this po- if at, you will. At this point, no. It's just a lake. You're coming up onto the shore. Okay. Well, I'm just, I'm I'm scooting. I'm not I'm not up and running. Mm-hmm. Kind of kind of army crawling a little bit, being as quiet as I can. Um, oh, cool. this is this is new. Be quiet. Yeah. Do they see me? You're not making me roll, so I don't. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we haven't got dice. So. I got dice. If you're if you're moving towards the shore, then eventually, yes, they will see you. Well, then I'll just stand up. Okay. Fortune favors the bold. Okay. What are you doing? Was that a quagga talking? Or was that you? That's me talking. Oh, because I was getting my dice. No, the, these quagoths and hook horrors are making absolutely no sound. Which way you be traveling? Um, one of the one of the larger myconids will walk up towards the shore. Um, staying surrounded by these other monstrosities and everything like that. But he's not making any noise either, but he is waving you forward. Let me know by a nod. Are you going to give me the poof? And Jeff is nodding. Yes. I will, since I have experience with Mike Nid uh, poofing me, I will go to what I would assume to be the outer um, range of his poof abilities. Like, just, just on the very edge inside to get the poof. Yeah, I believe it's ten feet. Okay, then I'm at I'm at nine and a half feet from him. Yeah, you you have a small horde of underdark monsters that look like they have fungus growing out of them, random spots of mold, random mushrooms growing out of odd places. Oh, oh my! And that are trying to like keep a barrier between you and it, between you and the the, the mic. Okay, but yeah, he comes out and he poofs and he's. This is a very different experience from the other Myconids than you had, because this is you. You don't just feel a connection to his mind. You feel the connection that they all have here. Uh, they all work together as one hive mind. Uh, they all share experience. They all share knowledge. They, you're hearing a you're hearing like a, a a multitude of voices speaking to you. Is this different than when I spoke? We spoke to the ones um, before going into the yes. The magic mushroom land. Uh, oh yeah, the the ones there was that, a group the one, there. The ones that Sarah wanted to go with. Yes, yes. This is different. Those guys were oddly happy. Yeah, they were. They some of them were dancing. Some of them were just euphoric. Uh, these so quagoths are the reanimated since they're all fungusy. Yeah, I'm they're, assume, like they're spore servants. Earlier. Okay, spore 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 servants. Okay, spore servants. Thank you. Yes, um, uh, you'll be greeted. Um, hey there, friend. They are trying to ascertain whether you're friend or foe. What are you doing here? Where are you from? But the whole thing will be very, very subdued, very, very welcoming. Uh, they're not, they're not hostile at all. Um, uh, yeah. Hey. Um. Well, I was uh, having a little adventure. Uh, we were uh, outside of Grapplestug, and um, there was a bright flash of light. Uh, after a battle uh, with some unsavory elements, and uh, here I am. Uh, I uh, when I came to, I was falling uh, into that lake, which completely sucked. Uh, they will relay that you are not far from Gracklestug now. Oh, wonderful! Thank you. Uh, we're we have our autonomy here, but we are semi servants to the Durgar. Oh. They they mo- they patrol this area and keep it clear of as many monsters as they can, and we we produce food for them. Oh, and you make how do you make food? That's interesting. The mushrooms. Oh, you can see this whole cavern this is full. is growing every kind of mushroom you can think of. Well, you're just like fungus shepherds. This is neat. Oh, I forgot. You're still large size too. Yes, I'm. Yes, sorry. It wears off in an hour. You said. Yep. So, um, but I had just started it. Uh-huh. Woot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that well that's fascinating. 
and good for you. You know, having a trade that one can really ply on is, you know, it's just so important in the modern world. So good for you guys. And you're just so nice. Doggone it. This is bad. Yeah, it says bad. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> I'm talking to the wrong end. Well, I'm I'm looking at my waveform, and it's not it's not that big. And with this mic, I should be louder. So I don't. I wanted to make sure that Lucas actually set this up right. <laughs> Best laid plans of mice and emos. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, okay. So, uh, uh, what's what's your name, sir? I imagine from the communal thinking, I can, I know his designee. Uh, well, I should have thought of that. Um, oh, Mulcher. That's a lovely name. Yeah, we'll go with Mulcher. Sure, that works. Um, yeah, uh, they will, they'll offer you a place to rest if you need. Uh, anything like that. Oh, bless you. You're, bless more than, you. you're more than welcome to stay here. Well, is there anything I can do to help you uh, with the, you know, with the, with the, the fungus shepherding? No, we're... They're pretty good with with fungus. They're that's awesome. Yeah, they um, they know how to work fungus. If I need to go to the bathroom, is there a particular place I should do that? There's a feeding trough over there. Okay, <laughs> I, I've been traveling with a bike in it, and he's just a wonderful companion. Uh, and you know, oh, he stool. Eat, he eats well. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a hearty fellow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, uh, you you can rest if you want. Yeah. Um, oh, bless you. You. One thing I want to remind you: you are, in theory, not far from Gracklestuck. Right. Your friends were left in the middle of a dungeon. Yeah. I don't know how much time you want to spend resting. Like, do the these guys? This is their area. They, this is this their. Is, area. They chill here. Yes. Uh, I'm guarded. I am beat to fucking shit. And with a handful of hit points left, I fell out of the damn sky and hit concrete water. Mm -hmm. I'm going to fucking sleep. Okay. I'm going to sleep. When you're lost in the woods, the best thing to do is hold still. I don't remember what you had in the way of spells or anything left. I had one, like, level one cure wounds type. (laughs) I burnt everything. You know, there was something that I forgot throughout the entire thing with the fair's rest. And I'm going to have to start using it next week, or next time we play. But, yeah. What's that? Come on, give me give me an insider. The the magical... The, the aura? Yeah, the, the whole area is suffused with Fair's Rest radiation and mm-hmm. everything like that. Spells that take up a spell slot, not like a cantrip or anything like that. You're supposed to roll on the, on the wild magic. Neat. Yeah, so I, oh, I, have, that's, I, I have to remember... You know, my sorcerer sort of died so early in the last campaign. Never I got really, to do it. I, I got to do it a handful of times, but oh, that's exciting. Yeah. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to make Troy's side points do the same thing. Oh, f- yes. Probably. Yeah. Um, cool. So, yeah, I'm going to rest. I thank them uh, for their hospitality. And I, I, I you know what? I'm just going to lay over. I'm going to take a kip right over there. Uh, I, uh, I feel like your food uh, right now. I'm going to take me a, a good long rest. Okay. Uh, you will rest up. <sighs> what are you gonna do now? Well, I'm gonna go uh, find my little. I'm gonna find Mulcher. Mm-hmm. Ask for a poof. Oh yeah, he'll poof me. Somebody will poof you. Yes. Well, hey friend. Um, before uh, you know, you point me in the direction of Gracklestuck. Uh, you see the main entrance to their cavern. Okay. And he will direct you one way. Okay. Um, we don't leave here much, so I don't know specifics, but that's where the Durgar come from. Excellent. Um, well, if you, I'm sure you don't go to Gracklestug much, but do you know of a dungeon beneath <clears throat> Gracklestug? A, a large causeway of tunnels? No, I've never actually... Well, I probably would have been to Gracklestug once. Okay. But I didn't much... I didn't leave the slave pens much. Oh my gosh. Is there anything I can do to help you in your current situation? Are you doing all right? We're content here. Okay. Well, if it would be you, nice to go back home, but for right now, we, we've made a home here. Well, you've made a friend here, so if you change your mind, you ask for Morik. Ask who? I, oh, I don't know. It's just a turn of phrase. You ask anybody? Uh, we're staying at the, the inn uh, in town called the 
I don't have my notes. The, the, the bullet slayer. The, the bullet slayer. So, you know. Yeah, and he he would get way more than just just your words. He would get flashes of what you've seen right. and everything like that. So, yeah, cool. he's he's probably gleaned m- way more information from you than oh, you've sure. actually said. But Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. That's an even trade for a safe night's sleep, I think, in the <laughs> fucking Underdark Wilds. Well, then uh, I bid them adieu, and I start heading towards the cavern. I've still got my badge of uh, Thembershad on. Okay. So. Do you still have the the holy symbol that, that Gartikar gave you? The X? No, because I handed it back to him and said I didn't. No he, no. he explained to you that that would be his personal badge. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, I still have it then. Okay. I remember I would wrapped it in a cloth, because I paranoidly thought it would hurt a good cleric to touch That's it in my right. flesh. And so. I kept making you roll intelligence checks to make sure that you grabbed the right one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, I have it. Okay. Just curious. All right. Um, you start making your way and... The world today takes everything you've got. <laughs> I've been sitting and watching that on Hulu. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah. I went back. I'm watching Robot Chicken. From- Logan's been watching that. They use the R word way too much in 2000. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> uh... You will travel for several hours. Uh, the The cavern you're in doesn't doesn't veer much. You don't come to many uh, splits or anything like that. And it looks pretty functional. Like it's not aesthetically pleasing, but it's smooth. It's clearly a well traveled path. Out towards where the Mykonids were, it's fairly rough. But the more you travel, the more you see it smoothing out. Okay. Um, everything like that. Not. I mean, it's not to the point that it's a road yet, but you can tell that it's traveled. It's mm-hmm. It's everything like that. Uh, eventually, you hear a clatter behind you. Uh, I would make you roll, but you don't have your character sheet. Um, I know most of my things. Go, go ahead and roll me a perception. This guy's a plus five. I know that. Okay. It's an eight. Fuck. Okay. Uh, you you hear the noise, but you can't make much of it out. Hmm. Is there uh, an outcropping, anything I can duck behind? Yeah, you could probably find some. Duck behind and peer out. See what I see. Eventually, the noise will catch up with you, and you see, you see two medium-sized humanoid creatures. Um, they're fucking disgusting looking. Uh, they have this giant mouth, uh, big teeth, big rounded teeth. It looks like something that was human at one point, or probably not human, probably dwarven. Um, are they are they lumbering? Are they moving with purpose? Are they a little bit of both? Okay. Um, they are slow. They they're they're slower, but they that it you don't get the same impression that you got from the uh, spore servants where they're under control. That they, they are moving of their own volition, but they are much slower. Uh, it looks like they've gotten bigger than they originally were. But okay. uh, what's your religion? Is it a plus three? Go ahead and roll me one. Would be a fourteen. Those are definitely demons. Oh, well then. I, uh, do I think I could take them? When I look at them, do they look like rough and tough demons or do they look like bitches? Uh, they... Always remember, when you go to your doctor, somebody had to come in last place at medical school. Are these bad doctors? I mean, these aren't Hezrus or or Glabrazus or anything like that. You made that, that up. Those aren't words. Go ahead. No, they're in the monster manual. Liar. <laughs> I would know. I'm not allowed to touch it till the campaign's over. <laughs> <laughs> but they are they are definitely demons and demons are traditionally a lot tougher than things from here. At the speed that they're moving, you're pretty sure that you could keep ahead of them if you just took off. So now, pause and gameplay. Yep. When do you want me to start in the car? Next session. Oh. Yeah. Next tonight, session, not tonight at all. No, I, for I mean doing, redoing the Buku thing. That is how you. That is however you want to do it. Um, I don't care if one night you play as Morik and one night you play as Morik with a goatee or. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Whatever. Well, I was just wondering, like, if I had, if I grab naughty um, focus, would that is that my trigger? You know, where I see demons. Hey, fan. Right. Your religion check, you would know that even it, even an evil cleric wouldn't have any powers. Okay. Well, there are right. there are spells to control these things. There are ways to control these things, and you don't have those. Yeah. Well, then I will. Uh, I'll double time it. 
Okay. Yeah. Uh, you will double time it for quite a while. I mean, I'll double time it till I don't hear the clatter anymore. Once you start moving, they they see you. Yeah. Uh, they're they lumber after you, and okay. they they will keep up the chase unless you can figure out a way to shake them. Otherwise, they will follow at a distance and try and catch you. No, that's fine. But um, you you can stay ahead of. Them. Is there any incline? Am I on a straight path? A little bit of both. Uh, it'll. It'll rise up, it'll lower down. Uh, you, I mean, you'll go for an hour or so. Okay. And the the path kind of goes around a loop. It's not something where you're, like, you're going around a roundabout or something. It's a very, you're stone cutting. You'd be able to tell that you're, you're almost backtracking at some point. Mm-hmm. Because the path loops into a different direction. And eventually, you will come upon Elanel. Okay. L&L is sitting at what looks like the remains of a, a campfire. Okay. Staring into a bowl. A uh, metal bowl, wood, wood bowl. bowl. Got wood water bowl. in it or something. Mm-hmm. Be able to interact with it. What would, you, what would you do when you first saw her? I'd probably uh, exclaim. <laughs> like, Oi! Oh my god, l and hey! Hey, I, oh my god, it's so good to see you. We gotta get moving. There's these two creepy bastards behind me. So you just came upon L in, in the cavern, sitting, staring into a bowl of water and remnants of a, of a campfire. And you walk up and say, "How good it is to see her!" And there's something coming behind you. Yeah, there's these uh, these two uh, demony fuckos. I'm not sure what species they are, but they ain't from around here or up where we're from. Um, should we flee or fight? Well, I I didn't feel comfortable taking them on by myself, but you know. They're pretty slow. I've been easily outrunning them, and I'm, you know, I got these short legs. I think they used to be dwarves, but they, oh, they're just god awful looking. Eventually, you will catch sight of them down the tunnel uh, with your arcana training or whatever. You got a much higher, I'm sure you'd get a much higher roll than Matt did. Yeah. Uh, you know the name Rudderkin. Okay. They're demons that infect other other things. Okay. Are they like zombies? They look something like this. Ew, nasty. Does it have a hand arm? Or a, ma- a mouth arm? Yes. Gross. Oh, you see? That's that fucking thing. Those guys. Um, I suppose we should. You want to put them out of their misery? Because they just look fucking awful. How many are there? Two of them. Oh. Two of them, two of us, huh? Um. You, By watching them, you know that you could keep ahead of them. They huh? are fairly slow moving. I mean, I'm I'm fairly beat up. I think we should go. Okay, well, I'm fine with that, too. What were you doing with the bowl? I say as we start walking. Um, it was just some water. I was... Were you scrying? I saw something, but it seemed more like a dream than than, than, than anything real. That's weird. I've had that happen a couple times, though, on this trip. I'll <laughs> tell you that much. Oh, Jesus. Or, um, oh, Moradin. <laughs> oh, Moradin's kid. <laughs> so you guys keep going. Uh, Troy... As you start to move out, you hear in your head three lefts and a right. Okay. And you move down the tunnel, you follow their, their directions, and you come to a dead end. <coughs> I thought you knew where we were going. Um, I thought I did too. Um, do I? You see a panel in the stone slide open, and a dwarf like sticks his head out and says, I wouldn't move if I were you. Okie dokie, but uh, please note the Thembershod emblems. Uh, make me a persuasion check at advantage. Persuasion is plus five. So 17? That'll work. Uh, they they see the emblems, they see the holy symbol that you show them, and they they back off a little, and they will... Eventually, they'll realize that there's something following you, and you see a, a, probably 15 crossbow corals go flying down the tunnel and just blow the shit out of these things. But Oh, thank you. They were a little irksome. We're a little travel weary. We're hoping to find backup, so bless your hearts. And you will be led in the east gate of Gracklestone. And do we get our bearings pretty easily? Yeah. Uh, when you guys left Thembershad's lair and you walked around the outside of the city, mm-hmm. this is the gate that Cody said, oh, we can get out this gate easy and you could see all the invisible guys. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, do we see? He said fifteen crossbow quarrels. Uh, do we see fifteen people or not? <laughs> some of them came out of the like the slots that he was sticking out of. Yeah. Some of them did pop visible once they fired. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Oh, ladies. What do you guys want to do? Well, um, so you're saying we're at the east gate. I can we like Chrysler and Jeep. Just, I guess, survey whether or not this is an actual viable like exit. So is this this is not the this is not where we came from. This we came through like a secret passage. We came, no, we came from the docks originally. Well, I don't know. No, I'm talking now. Like, oh, okay. Running through this. No, once it opens, you can you can see where it is camouflaged into the stone, so yeah. that you don't see a, a massive gate. But this is a massive gate that you could pull caravans through. Okay. That, this is some great, great craftsmanship, guys. This is my goodness. You are an industrious people. Try to be gone. You have the you have the holy symbol. You have the badges. Yeah. They're not going to shout obscenities at you or anything like that. Well I'm still a nice guy. Mm-hmm. Um Troy, you don't even know how much time has passed. I don't. Because the 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 thing that you had, you woke up and it it, it looked like that fire had been burning burning for hours and has has been out and cold. So well, you had lost time, man. Maybe you're having like fucking episodes. Well, uh, should we try to go back to the inn and see if uh, Kira and Emo like Emerson came back? What's his name? <laughs> Nexus. You can go back to the inn. You want to go back to the tunnels. You want to hey. go back to the dragon. You want to. What do you want to do? Uh, you know, maybe on our way to check on our friends, we ought to head to the inn and, you know, make sure the rest of them are all right. We haven't seen them in a couple of days. They might have declared us dead for crying out loud. Yeah, I, I think that's a good idea. So back to the inn. Yeah. Okay. And remnants of a, of a campfire and you walk up and say how good it is to see her and there's something coming behind you yeah there's these uh these two uh demony fuckos i'm not sure what species they are but they ain't from around here or up where we're from um should we flee or fight well i i didn't feel comfortable taking them on by myself but you know they're pretty slow i've been easily outrunning them and i'm you know i got these short legs I think they used to be dwarves, but they, oh, they're just god-awful looking. Eventually, you will catch sight of them down the tunnel. Uh, with your arcana training or whatever, you got a much higher, I'm sure you'd get a much higher role than Matt did. Yeah. Uh, you know the name Rudderkin. Okay. They're demons that infect other other things. Okay. Are they like zombies? They look something like this. Ew, nasty. Does they have a hand arm? Or a, ma- a mouth arm? Yes. Gross. Oh, you see, that's that fucking thing. Those guys. Um, I suppose we should. You want to put them out of their misery? Because they just look fucking awful. How many are there? Two of them. Two oh. Us. Two of them, two of us, huh? Um. You, by watching them, you know that you could keep ahead of them. They are huh? fairly slow moving. I mean, I'm, I'm fairly beat up. I think we should go. Okay. Well, I'm fine with that, too. What were you doing with the bowl? I say as we start walking. Um, uh, was just some water. I was. Were you scrying? I saw something, but it seemed more like a dream than than, than anything real. That's weird. I've had that happen a couple times though on this trip. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Oh Jesus! Or um, oh Moradin. <laughs> oh Moradin's kid. <laughs> so you guys keep going, uh, Troy. As you start to move out, you hear in your head three lefts and a right. Okay. And. You move down the tunnel, you follow their, their directions, and you come to a dead end. <coughs> I thought you knew where we were going. Um, I thought I did too. Um, do I? You see a panel in the stone slide open, and a dwarf like sticks his head out and says, I wouldn't move if I were you. Well, okie dokie, but uh, please note the Thembershod emblems. <laughs> Uh, make me a persuasion check at advantage. Persuasion plus five. So seventeen. That'll work. Uh, they they see the emblems. They see the holy symbol that you show them, and they they back off a little, and they will eventually they'll realize that there's something following you, and you see a, a 
probably 15 crossbow corals go flying down the tunnel and just blow the shit out of these things. But Well, thank you. They were a little irksome. We're a little travel weary. We're hoping to find backup, so bless your hearts. And you will be led in the east gate of Gracklestep. And we get our bearings pretty easily. Yeah. Uh, when you guys left Thembershad's lair and you walked around the outside of the city, mm-hmm. this is the gate that Cody said, oh, we can get out this gate easy and you could see all the invisible guys. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do we see, he said 15 crossbow quarrels. Uh, do we see 15 people or not? <laughs> Some of them came out of the, like the slots that he was sticking yeah, out of. Yeah. Some of them did pop visible once they fired. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Oh, ladies. What do you guys want to do? Well, um, so you're saying we're at the east gate. I can we like Chrysler Jeep? Just I guess survey whether or not this is an actual viable like exit. So is this this is not the this is not where we came from. This we came through like a secret passage. We came, no, we came from the docks originally. Well no, 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 I'm talking now. Like, oh, okay. Running through this No, once it opens you can you can see where it is camouflaged into the stone so yeah. that you don't see a, a massive gate, but this is a massive gate that you could pull caravans through. Okay. That, this is some great, great craftsmanship, guys. This is, my goodness. You are an industrious people. Try to be gone. You have the, you have the holy symbol. You have the badges. Yeah. They're not going to shout obscenities at you or anything like that. Well, I'm still a nice guy. Mm-hmm. Um, Troy, you don't even know how much time has passed. I don't. Because the, 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 the thing that you had... You woke up and it, it it looked like that fire had been burning burning for hours and has has been out and cold. So we got lost time, man. Maybe you're having like fucking episodes. Well, uh, should we try to go back to the inn and see if uh, Kira and Emo Nick Emerson came back? What's his name? <laughs> Nexus. That's funny. You can go back to the inn. You want to go back to the tunnels. You want to hey. go back to the dragon. You want to. What do you want to do? I. Uh, you know, maybe on our way to check on our friends, we ought to head to the inn and, you know, make sure the rest of them are all right. We haven't seen them in a couple of days. They might have declared us dead for crying out loud. Yeah, I, I think that's a good idea. So back to the inn. Yeah. Okay. How's it going, everybody? Meh. Uh, well, we're sitting here at a table, the three of us. Yep. <laughs> Because two assholes quite literally vanished. Yep. Yeah, they're they no longer part of the show. Just well, we'll that. find out where they are once I find out what you guys are doing. <laughs> Which the audience may already know, because <laughs> recording is sometimes wibbly-wobbly and timey-wimey. That's very true. Depends on what the more dramatic thing is, listening to their bit or listening to our bit. Also true. So we just need to go out in a better hail of glory than they did, <laughs> and our part will go second. Well, I'm at 11 hit points. What are you at? Uh, 22. We got this. <laughs> so, bright flash, and then L and L and Morik are both gone. You guys are left standing at the bottom of the uh, the multi tiered room, and what do you do? I feel, um, I feel like we just kind of look at each other and blink for like a minute and go, "What does suck say?" Well, in this room, the bright flash didn't bother you as much as in other areas because this room is really, really bright. Yeah, almost um, like sunlight coming from above. Interesting. Um, I think I would take off to go up to where Num Nut One and Num Nut Two just disappeared. Yeah. Like for all we know, the bright flash could have incinerated them. We don't actually know that they're gone. They could literally be dust up there. Yeah. Let's look for shoes. <laughs> you just find <laughs> just two a couple of, boots. of smoking boots. <laughs> <laughs> you do find the smoking remains of a dragon egg. Okay. Okay. Smashed up against the giant monolith. Now, I believe... Or did you, didn't you take chips of that first? I meant did, to take chips of it. I don't know if I did, but I'd like to take chips now if I have You didn't get to it at the end okay. of the last one, but okay. yeah, you can. So there are, I would like to take maybe chips of it. If there's some identifiable bone or something, like, I want to take a piece or two of it. Like a, I don't know what's left. You said I guess it depends on egg. how the egg were. I don't know. Right. I don't how know far if along be- is the dragon inside said egg? When Matt the Catholic aborted this dragon, was this a legal <laughs> thing or... <laughs> Damn it! I'm Catholic too. You know there 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 were actually rules in this chapter for hatching it yourself. 
<laughs> Did they put it on a uh, spinning disc and walk around with it for three, four sessions? You could. Um, this is what we did last time. So I'll take whatever seems recognizable yes. and stow that in my pouch. <coughs> As we turn around to where they used to be, is there anything? Uh, there would have been large footprints. From Matt. From right. Matt right. growing and bowling this egg into the stone or into the obelisk. I keep forgetting he was oversized, so he we're pretty sure he did vanish. Uh, I guess that I just thinking of the angle, we may not necessarily know that they vanished, but there's no sign of them. There's no there is no sign of no smoking one. boots, no leftover. Uh, well, this is your fucking department. It kind of is. But what I'm a fucking alchemist. You're also a magic user. Well, here I don't know let nothing me, about that. Let me uh, let me take this arrow and shoot it into the sky, and it'll tell me where the fuck they just went. <laughs> There any, now that I'm near the obelisk, is there a writing on it of any kind? There's no writing. Nothing at all. It looks like it is. It looks like it's been broken and reformed. Like there's parts missing from it. Uh, you can make an arcana check to see if you have any idea what happened. It's the best idea I've had all day. It's like both of us were trying to nudge you that way. Is that a four? As I say, it looks like a single digit from this side of the table. I think if that's a four, it's a seven total. It's a seven total. You're pretty sure that they were disintegrated. Uh, gone like gone or gone like? As far as I can tell. And I make the sign of the cross. Gone. I make angel wings with my hands. You have wings. I'm not going to use those right now. <laughs> only for a minute a day. <laughs> yeah, and only get them <laughs> once a day. <laughs> now that we're up here, does that sunlight, quote unquote, seem any more interesting? Like, is, it, is, it, is that a change in the room that it was brightly lit? No, it was brightly lit before. Okay, just making sure. Does anything else appear to have changed with the obelisk, the egg, or this area up here that's different? You're pretty sure that that egg was not scorched before it hit. Okay, so it's an after effect. Yes. What poached the fucking egg? Probably the magic. Does it do that? As far as I can tell, I can't roll a damn arcanic check. So what you're saying is <laughs> no, you're a shitty you... magic user. Um, you guys had, you guys were discussing it last time that this thing it absorbs magic. Right. I do recall that. And that's what Matt tried to do with the egg. But scorching implies heat and fire and stuff coming out. That's just what I'm trying to make clear. So you well, think I get, that, I get that I get that. There's some sort of magic wave that just like shattered the egg and just disintegrated those two? That is the way that Nexus understands it, yes. Well, you you saw Morik smash the egg into the into the mob, the obelisk. Right. You know that that happened. You can assume that it was consumed by that flash and whatever effect it had affected everybody up on the top the the top of the um plateau what? or whatever yeah, it is. Yeah. The mesa. Yes, the um, mesa. Okay. I don't know if this will help me or not, but in order to try to understand this thing, if I use detect magic to at least understand what kind of magic comes off of it, school of magic comes off of it you can um normally detect magic would give you the information if you spent the action to study it. right in here i'm not going to just give it to you i will give you another arcana check but when you pop detect magic the entire place lights up not just the obelisk the entire room yeah the you're seeing a very intense reaction to the fair's rest okay um so can he extrapolate that the fair's res is what's causing the room to be awash with magic? Or is this is this a leftover from what this lady did? Or is this something that Matt did? Was this here earlier? That's why I said I would give him another arcana check. I know, I'm just trying to give him good questions to ask and to try and lobby <laughs> for some sort of damn help. Just digging for other dice. I'm gonna laugh when this one rolls a two. Typically, I'm my metal die rolls pretty well. <laughs> you don't get cards because they're not on the table, dick. Was there a comma in that sentence? Or are they just not on the table, dick? Yes. That's a 14 arcana check, you said? Yes. So, he's 17. 17? He got those dice out because he's pulling a fucking fadre, is what he's doing right now. He got some illegible dice that are hard to read from across <laughs> the table, rolls it, and picks it up real fast and brings it close to his eyes. Oh, yeah, I got a 17, guys. I looked all one digit on that. How'd you get a 17? Put it right back down. Of course you did. <laughs> I, I was pretty sure that there was a dot at the top or bottom of that. <laughs> 17, sir. <laughs> <laughs> With a 17, you can see... Now somebody else has to dig in their bag. Nobody was prepared today, Cody. 
No one. I was prepared. I wasn't sure what you assholes were going to do. Well, I'm not going to start digging in the ground for them. Are there like... Give me a second. Are there like shadows where they used to stand like when the bomb went off in Hiroshima? No. You can see uh, the fair's rest is lighting up the entire room, but in the area around the top of the mesa, you can see an extra oomph of conjuration orbs. Okay. I explain thusly. So what the f*** is conjuration? It's for magic where you conjure things. I didn't see anything appear out of thin air. Well, it was a flash there, wasn't it? I don't understand the damn thing. I'm just pointing out that Lucas has no idea what the school of conjuration is. No, because Lucas didn't study his schools of conjuration. You should look that up in the book sometime. Probably should. Because conjuration both makes things appear and disappear, as I recall. Conjure, Ideally. appear. Pretty sure the reverse of conjure, which is probably donger, donjuration or something, makes <laughs> them disappear. Yeah, I feel like, like disappear. A, I feel like it's just a made up word. You wouldn't know. You didn't read the book. <laughs> so those two dongerated. Dongeration. <laughs> It sounds like a 1980s actor. Don Duration. <laughs> Don S. Duration in Magnum P.I. <laughs> uh, um, so what you're saying is they may have gone somewhere. Yes. Kira kind of looks around. With your 17, you would know that teleportation is in the school of conjuration. Well, he said. <laughs> As is disintegration. I guess. Is it? I'm pretty sure. Disintegration sounds like destruction magic. Is that, is that destruction labeled? is not a school know, of magic. No, I know, but is that label is destruction type magic labeled only under? No, I would have thought it would be. Um, well, I guess I don't know. Disintegration might just literally donjurate you. Um. <laughs> nope, I am mistaken. Disintegrate is not. So you're thinking that they might be somewhere. I'm thinking they might. Uh, as Kira looks around at the the fair's res is in fact like visible right in this room. Yeah, it's been fairly visible throughout most of the cavern, I believe. I. Got a feeling that they uh, may have swapped places with our two-headed friend. Not the giant, the really big two-headed friend. They may be in the abyss now. think they went to the abyss? I'm not exactly learned here, but this shit comes from the abyss. You're telling me they went somewhere, and if they donjurated to somewhere (laughs) else, it's entirely possible they're in hell. For all we know, they're on the surface. Excuse me for being skeptical when there's quite literally bits of the abyss leaking around this room right now. Well, you're not wrong. You could spend a spell slot and find out. To do what? Activate the 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 obelisk. Oh, I just throw a spell at it and it works. Yeah, you you spend a spell slot. Shoot fireballs at it. You spend a spell slot. The thing absorbs it. And Kira steps back about five feet and just points to it. You're the educated one. You show me the fleshy thing that needs to be stabbed, and I'm here to help. Or you guys can do whatever you like. I want to see if Lucas donjurates first. Uh, if you're up on the mesa with me, you're going. You don't have the power of a dragon's egg. No. I'm not sure if it matters, though. I'm going to imagine it did. Because that lady was probably doing some shit, right? You think she didn't think to throw a spell or two at it? I don't know. Did we ever figure out exactly what she was doing? Was she just, like, chanting at oh, it yeah, or something? Oh, yeah, you guys never looked around. I mean, we kind of watched her for a minute, but then she went down. Does she, she? Her body's still laying somewhere on the mesa, right? Yeah. I think you guys did search her, but I don't remember. I, I feel we like did. we did. I think, you I, I think a, LNL took everything. You found her journal. As you I don't were, know who has it, though. I don't remember who took it. Well, either way, you guys talked about this. As you were walking in, you saw her at, at the obelisk. Yeah, she had a journal in her hand. I remember that. Yeah, there was a flash. Something appeared, and she grabbed it, wrote it down, and cackled maniacally. Right. You guys searched her body, found the journal, found a gold piece on her, yeah. and found in the journal notes about other things that have appeared and when and... Yes, I do remember you saying that now. Is I there feel anything like special right. about the gold piece or is it just a gold piece? Make me a history check. What's my history? Plus Am I, I'm, assu- I'm assuming we're discussing this. Can I roll history as well? Yes, absolutely. Because I have a bonus to it. I've got a 22. I got a 14. Nice. Uh, that... That coin is from Cormir. Oh, that's right. I forgot it was from a different area. No, but that's like... I know where we were abducted from, right? Yep. Which was where? Because I don't know if we ever asked episode or not. But I'm guessing it was nowhere near Cormir. Nowhere near Cormir. This would be like finding... This would be like, you know, digging in your backyard and finding like... A yen. Right. Mm -hmm. An ancient yen. Like that... No, not ancient. It's not old? No. Is it really new then? Does it look like shiny still? I mean, not not particularly, but you can tell it's not ancient. It's not 500 years old. No. 
Does it have Dude. a year date on it when it was minted? Possibly. <laughs> okay. Denver Mint. Immerse me. <laughs> what uh, Cormier and Bird is on the back of it to denote a celebration of that particular territory? 1435 VR. Now I gotta look and see. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 1435. What the hell are you looking at on your character sheet? I have year dates down. Do you? Yes, dick. That'd be like a 1950s coin, roughly, give or take. It's about 30 years, 35 years ago. You and I need to get on our same DR because... <laughs> 1468 or 69, right? You're making all kinds of shit up. Anyway. Retcon he, every time we play. You I know out? he does. You could scroll I, up on all will, those text messages because I was I like... I will check and make sure. Because I show that I would be... That this should be like 1489. What year did Out of the Abyss take place in? Oh, I thought you were asking Siri like she would know. <laughs> uh, so anyway, what do you want to... So, maybe... May, so what are our options here? We keep walking through the cavern. As R.A. Salvatore's novel set the date in the middle of the 1480s. 1480s. So I have my numbers. It's 1486. That makes more sense. So our choices are to continue through caverns or to attempt to set this thing off. Is that, uh, is that accurate? You're going to need to convince me an awful fucking lot to, to set that thing off. Although this did come from the surface. How many times did her journal pull in things from the surface versus elsewhere? She did not have the point of reference to know that, hey, this came from Cormier. Gotcha. That, yeah, that makes sense. Does it explain how it came, like what she sent through to get it back? She didn't send anything through. She's just been documenting things that randomly appear. Okay, so it's, random, she, so it's not like an exchange service. She's not giving nope. something to get. Okay. For some well, reason, that's what the way I understood it. I'd like to go kill some gray ghosts, but our uh, former smoke and boot friends here... Uh, Took care of the problem in uh, Gracklestug. Needless to say, I got a couple of pieces that'll cause the ruckus that I'm looking for. Um, you did also get one other clue last time that I don't that I don't know if either of you picked up on. Oh yeah, mm, apparently not. Uh, when you when you were fighting Tommy and you tried to talk him down and everything like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This isn't the one who summoned. Him. Right. No. There's something. There's something nastier down here. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. I do recall that. I don't think that you are... I don't know that you're in any situation to fight. No, and I really can't heal myself by that much. Well, we can walk out of here. You literally get all your stuff back after a short rest. Yeah, but I can't heal myself a lot. I can't. I, don't, I, I won't be able to heal myself in full, to full. I can or spend her. all the D6s I want. Or her. <laughs> I haven't rolled over a 2 on a D6 yet. <laughs> what? So... <laughs> Well, I mean, like, if we spent, if we took an hour's rest, we could heal up. You could get, you could use your dice. We could get back to full. Sure. We could walk out of here. That's probably the safer option. Yeah. If you just want to let the world burn, toss a spell in there and see what the f*** happens. But you're going to have to convince Kira an awful lot or do it without me paying attention. Um, so that's the other option. It's more of the f*** you, Jeff, option. But the logical thing to do would be to, uh... Don't matter to me. I was say, I'm assuming Jeff has considered that since he literally said that you could do it. Um, the safer option would be to walk back up, but we're going to have to go through all those caverns again, which wasn't horrible to get here. I mean, I remember it was a bit of a hike from here to like where we heard all the voices. We don't have... And then we go back past the bears. Wasn't... Then we get to the main hall to get out. Wasn't there something that LNL had that helped us get through those mushrooms, though, that we don't have now? Yeah, but there was a main path we can walk down now. I'm pretty sure we've cleared out the main path. Okay. We won't know until we try. Right. Somewhere we have some friends hanging out down here, too. You do? That we've left in a side room. Zareth and Rumpadumpa. Yeah, they didn't They didn't go nearly as far as we did, though. No, but they're back where they tried to, like, wash us down the drain or whatever. Right. I think they're there, aren't they? They're before that. Oh, they're, they're all the way they back were... in, like, the Bopito Memorial Room. I didn't think they were that far back. Right in between those two points. Yeah. Either way. Assuming that we know, we can walk back. So would you like to walk back? Because huh. the other thing to keep in mind is Matt disappeared with most of the mushrooms, I believe. No, we split those apart between us. If you say so, I didn't write down that I have any mushrooms. Um, there he, were he does more. have all the particle, though. <laughs> uh, somewhere on recording, I do recall You guys just him. keep giving away your magic items and stuff. To be fair... I said Matt can keep track of the gold. <laughs> we never said Matt had the no, gold. There was this one of the old rep older episodes. It was it I, was explained that at any point we wanted to buy something, it's understood it's been split this five four ways. It's I don't just all on that. one piece of paper. Mm -hmm. It's in there somewhere. Um, 
because it, it's just a pain in the ass to track gold. It really I is. Know. I know. Um, so you want to just want to walk out of here then? I mean, if that's what you want to do. If you're spoiling for a fight that might kill you, let me know. But I don't think you are. Or do we try you to... just got those wings and you really want to use them. So I'm assuming you'd like to leave. I'd like to live a little bit longer, yeah. But I'd also like to know where my friends went. Well, this is from Cormier. They vanished. There's Fares Res. I don't know what to tell you. Hmm. Well, let's find out. I'm just going to stare at you incredulously. All right. I grab you by the collar and I throw something at the at the pillar. <laughs> <laughs> Forcing you to go with me. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter what it is. <sighs> Take just, off a spell. If all it needs is us. Um, is this, or a cantrip. Or a cantrip will nope. Work. No? It has, it has to be an actual be a, spell slot? It has to be oh, a okay. spell slot. What do I have that has a spell slot? I would try not to go if I got a chance to, but if he gets a surprise round, I'm probably f***ed. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Um, Kira doesn't, doesn't like magic, matter. and she sure as hell doesn't trust this chucklehead. No, it doesn't matter what I throw. I, I use a slot. There's literally like 17 pencils behind you. I like my pencil. If you really want to fight, I will give you... I just think it would be instinctive, but <clears throat> for him, to, if all he needs to do is touch me and cast the spell... Or if I'm in the radius anyway, it doesn't really matter. I just thought I'd let you know that my initial reaction if I get grabbed is to shove the other person. So, Give me a dex check. Okay. <laughs> I mean, is this at opposed? disadvantage. <coughs> kind of. <clears throat> you weren't really expecting it. I wasn't expecting it, in all That's honesty. That's fair. Nine. Nine? No. All right. We go poof. <laughs> There's another bright flash. <laughs> your narrative jeff <laughs> <laughs> oh man that's awesome this is all just for good show you know that right <laughs> i mean i want to push you down a flight of stairs on a normal basis so know, this right? doesn't change anything <laughs> if we appear at the top of the stairs kira pushes him down the flight of stairs <laughs> you better hope it's not the abyss oh no no it's not uh you there's another bright flash <clears throat> You guys appear. Dimly lit cavern. Uh, really warm here. Uh, you can see steam vents. Um, can I see at the moment? Dimly lit. Okay, so I'm just making sure that... I'm curious as to dimly lit by... Um, once again, I believe you have like something that is always I lit. I do, so. but I'm just trying to assess in that moment, where are we and what's going on? We're in a tunnel? Dimly, dimly lit that's lit by like... Something natural versus we suddenly appeared in a place where there are like pit demons holding torches is two totally different places. That's so. fair. Um, I punch Lucas in the mouth. Make an attack. Can I dodge? That's why you have an AC. That's fair. Nine and five is 14. AC is 13. Yeah, you take a point of damage. Worth it. <laughs> <laughs> the fucker. Did you think I was going to leave you there alone? No, but I don't think you're exactly too bright to know where the fuck we are. I knew where to go where we were. I don't know where to go where we are. I don't think the patron will be happy with me just leaving my friends out here. Something about clerics being stupid. Um, can I roll survival to figure out where I am? I was actually going to ask the same thing. Jeff, would you like a card, please? Why don't you get the bad luck cards out? I have a 22. Okay. Fuck! We're in the abyss! Yes. I knew it! You're absolutely sure that you were in the abyss. I can hear the battle between them and the hells just round the corner. You can hear it if you listen close. And she puts her ear up towards the passage. Do I have to punch you in the mouth now to calm you down? No, I don't think I'm <laughs> that far gone. But I'm very confused at where we're at since I rolled a one. I love these dice my wife got me, but sometimes they don't roll. They just thud. I've noticed that. They just drop. That's, this one does too, though. I don't know if it's a thing of the metal dice. Maybe it's the points. So. Like it's a flatter okay. surface. It's not a rolly surface. That's possible. I'll be interested to see when we get the new table. Yeah, I hope that the uh, sharp points on these don't mess up that neoprene. Well, if they do, I know whose ass I'm going to come after, Lucas. Hey, I, I designed it for you. Sometime. You can always roll it off there to play if you wanted. Yeah, you know how much that metal dice is going to clank inside a small wooden box? A lot more than this plastic table. <laughs> yeah, no sh People like hearing the sound he of rolled dice. A, he I rolled a 22. a 22. You rolled a 22 on survival. Yeah. Those are... There has got to be volcanic activity somewhere. Like in the fucking hells. No. You're not you're not on another plane. Don't listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Kira totally believes. Okay. Oh absolutely. You no, you are losing on another right now. plane. Make me a charisma save. Eight. Tick your tick your madness up. Oh fuck you. You are absolutely positive 
that you are in the abyss. That's fair, but I don't like it. Hey, Jeff, at what score do I need to worry about madness? Is it two or three? At two, something happens, right? Or is it three? Three is permanent. It's like a permanent thing. Level one is short term. Uh, level two is long term. And level three is indefinite. Roll me a D100. I kind of expected that. Actually, I didn't. I thought it started at two. But I, did, I did as well. No, this is what Lucas bitched about so much. Uh, I, I, that's that's fair. How about an O one? An O one, like an ot one? Yes, zero one. Nothing happens. You win the game. I think the character reverts into her into his or her mind and becomes paralyzed. For how long? Roll me a D ten. Uh, I think we're about to find out. D ten minutes, hours. Seven. Seven minutes. I just set Kira Look. down and just sit there and wait until she's over the shock of what's happening right now. Demogorgon. Yes, yeah, she is. She is totally can, muttering about Demogorgon. No. And yeah, I can see that she's in shock. I'm just kind of sitting there waiting for her to calm down. Anything else you'd like to do within the next? I only got one head last. You've totally got two heads. Um, two heads. Two heads. Two heads. Volcanic activity has two heads too. So I understand that there's volcanic activity around here somewhere. Yep. You can see steam vents. Um, Do I understand anywhere within the world that we could be? I mean, where I, volcanoes or, are. Or am I still underground? Like, that's <laughs> oh, the question. You're, you are still underground. Okay, so we're you underground. We're still in the underdark. I mean, okay. you're, you rolled a 22 on survival. Yes. You know that geothermal activity is literally a random encounter in, in the underdark. It's not an uncommon thing. Okay. Do I have any sense of direction at all? You're pretty sure the surface is that way. <laughs> For those I mean, of you I mean playing the home me. game, Jeff pointed straight up. Around me. No. Okay. Absolutely none. Just I, I rolled high. That's why I keep asking questions, and eventually you're going to stop giving me right. answers. So. And you, <clears throat> you have part a part of navigating the Underdark. You have a fairly good idea of what you will find around you. But you have no idea where you were just teleported. Right. I won't be. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I mean, that's one of those things that we keep talking about the Underdark. Like, have you ever seen, like, you know how they do the the, the cross section of, like, the uh, the ant colonies? Yeah, absolutely. Like, you know that there's probably an up and a down and a left and a right, but relatively, you have no idea where you're actually at because you can't see it. You know what I mean? Yeah. You have no idea yeah. your actual depth. We had those things in the classroom. You could watch them. Dig. Yeah, so yeah. we have. That's what I was saying. That's why I didn't want to go anywhere. But we're here now. So once I finish muttering, but the best thing you can do is just start looking around and try and figure out which way seems like a a traveled path or right. a way to go. Well, it's, are you seeing anything? With Kira in shock, now's a good time to sit down and just rest and wait till she's calm. So if you want to take a short rest now, mm -hmm. I don't know that I can take any minutes of a short rest while in a paralyzed You're state. Only paralyzed for seven minutes yeah right well once i snap out of it uh i i would start looking around does this have you have you heard anything have you seen anybody have you i don't know perception check maybe passive perception every once in a while you can hear stone shifting you can hear the hiss of steam uh something kira would wonder is the is the steam a natural off gassing or does it sound repetitive like it's being used mechanically like dwarves natural okay so it's call, not. It's a good call. It's not a. It's not a repetitive like this is. It's not pistons. a mechanical steam. Yeah, no, nope. not, not pistons. Maybe it's not being used. Good call. Um, we may not be near Gracklestug anymore. Then, if we were, I'd imagine they'd be using these vents. But we may be five minutes away. We could be clear on the other side of the Earth. It's very true. Whatever they call the actual planet itself. Toro. That's it. I knew that. Yeah. Is there any? Well, probably not. Because I'm assuming we're standing on rock. There's probably no signs of any other activity of you know footstep footsteps or anything in this area from say, other there, people is there a worn path at all nope and what are our options do we have a left or right and up and down do we have any sort of natural there, cavern natural cavern um the area you're in is fairly open uh we'll say there are four exits fuck any meeny miny mo catch a goblin by toe which way do you go <laughs> i do want to need I'll just go and listen at each one of them and see if I hear anything in that direction, but I doubt that I do, just no, to see what I can see. No interesting spells that you can memorize or anything? Mad I don't have a spell book. Chick user. I don't know how warlocks work. Or do you have a set number of spells that you know? Yeah. And he didn't pick the utility. 
I have utility ones. I don't have anything for like navigation. Not sure. Not entirely sure that that's what it probably is. <laughs> for warlock, probably not. Um, do I notice anything? Do any of them rise? Do any of them fall? Can I see down long stretches of any of them? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't have anything that would help me. It's, it's any of them that distinguish one from another. I have detect magic. It's free. If you had any point of reference, that's fair. Maybe. Okay. But you don't know where you... But just looking the first 30 feet, do any of them appear to rise in elevation? Like, I don't know if yes. they're going to eventually rise. Yes. I would choose whatever one appears to rise. And do any of them look traveled? No. Not in this area. Then I am going to... I Obviously, Kira has talked about living with dwarves, so obviously she's been underground and stuff. I'm going to pick one that rises and just try and keep my sense of how much we're rising over time. Okay. Or whether or not I end up going back down. Okay. Because moving up generally seems like a better idea than moving down. Unless we want to try and find, do we see the lava flow or do we just hear it? From here, no. You can you can hear rocks shifting and you can hear steam. It's just weird to me that there might be this pocket. Well, we did say it was random, theoretically. So it might just be a pocket that nobody's come across yet. Because mm-hmm. otherwise you could treat it like water being in the wilderness. You could go to the lava and follow the flow to see if there are people at some end of it. But I don't necessarily know that that's a great thing because there's a lot of shit down here that's horrible. So yeah, I'm going to just start trying to move upward. Okay. Keeping an eye out for signs of food, for places of shelter to rest, but just start just start moving. Okay. Uh, that would be... Survival checks for how safe fa- place. We're back to travel. How, fa- how fast are you moving? Not fast. Yeah, normal, so normal pace. Medium or slow? Slows. What's the difference between medium and slow? Because that might even be slow. Uh, slow, hang on. I mean, cautious as possible, I say. Well, we're a party of two that could easily snatch by any goddamn thing. Normal, you're even. There's no penalties, there's no bonuses. Uh, slow, improved foraging, and able to use stealth. I would say we're probably going slow then. Okay. Not that my stealth is going to be worth shit in armor, but I would say we're going slow to get the improved foraging and to look for stuff. I don't know, how much, does it say how much in distance we will travel less? Yes. You don't have to give me an exact number, but is it like half as much as normal? Is it... Two-thirds. I'm willing to go two-thirds to go slow. Okay. Because we may be looping back to this damn cavern. Okay. Moving at a slow pace. Yep. At a slow pace, you will travel for about an hour. Um, I'm actually going to use my... Whatever the... I keep forgetting what I actually have. Do I have a stone? Oh, yeah. You have a stone with continual, continual flame, I think it is, cast on it. It's not like on. That. It's not a necklace or anything. It's just a stone, right? You said you were tying it around I, your neck. I want to. Okay. I want to say Myrick made you a. a eh, that might be right. For it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Something that, like that. In that case, I'm actually going to move forward. I'm actually going to put the glaive back, and I'll move forward with the longbow. Okay. As long as it looks like, are we in? I guess the question is, are we moving in tight, narrow tunnels, or is it pretty open where we're moving? You start out uh, in a fairly narrow tunnel. Moving out of the the steam vents area, okay. Um, it widens out a little bit, but you're in you're in fairly tight quarters. Okay, still then, still just as steamy or less. Uh, it's still very like humid and hot, but you're you're not seeing steam vents and things this way. Okay, are we still moving relatively up, or have we slacked back down? Uh, it varies. Uh, you'll go Hard up. To you'll tell. you'll come out even. You'll go back up a little bit. You'll come back. You'll come back down slightly, and then. It, Okay, we're just moving, I mean, we're just moving, like, side by side then, or one and two, mm-hmm. and I'll leave my glaive out. All right, lass, you want to sit down for a while? Well, he was getting ready to say what we saw after an hour, so we might as well see what we saw after an hour. Oh, fair. Uh, you can make a perception check. Do me a roll at disadvantage? Uh, no, not for this. 18. 15. You, you swear the, that's the sound of a wagon. Pastries for sale. Bigger than that. <laughs> Um, can I tell what direction it's coming from? Like, if we hit a junction, or is it just we're the only people in this tunnel? It's got to be coming our you, way. You don't have much. You don't have much distance in how far you can see, but you can tell that it's coming from further down the tunnel where you're at. So we hear a wagon. Do we hear like pickaxes tinking on things? I you guess? do not. Uh, I'm gonna move forward. Do you have dark vision? Yes. Um, standard dark vision, sixty feet. I'm actually. And is this kind of just sheer at the moment? There aren't, like, any little fissures or anything that we're walking past any hidey holes? Probably not really hidey holes, uh, but, it I mean, it's natural rock. It's, okay. 
it's not like clean cut or anything like that. They'll be able to see this a long way off. I think it's time for you to lead. All right. Tuck so it in. I actually am going to tuck the light away entirely, and I will sort of reach out with the butt end of my glaive so he can grab the butt end of the glaive and kind of pull me along. Okay. So I'll give you I'll give you the shaft end, Lucas, and you can pull it for me. Makes sense. Uh, Cody, make me a dex check. It's probably fair. So you, so you don't trip. It's not bad. You're walking around along natural stone caverns in pitch black being led by the end of a stick. Thirteen. Thirteen? That's not bad. You don't fall on your ass. Well, and I am going, anytime he starts moving too fast, I'm going to keep pulling on it back. So I'm sure we're moving at a very slow pace at this point. Um, You will go on for not too much further, but both of you give me a, a stealth check. So long as one of you passes, you'll be okay. Well, I'm at disadvantage, and that is a... Yes. That's actually a good one. 16. Uh, 13. Okay. They don't notice you, but you, as you, as you near the, you can see the, the tunnel that you're in. It, it, well, I, that's bad wording. It doesn't end, but it, it opens up. Okay. It's like you're coming into a larger area and you get closer. You hear voices. Uh, you hear, if you didn't know anybody, you'd say it was like a caravan, a uh, fairly Ooh, small caravan. Language? But you hear dwarven. What are they saying? Just nothing about having noticed you. Just general conversation as they're traveling. Um, is, is what have, I've heard those, I've heard the, um, the gray dwarf speak, right? Mm -hmm. Is it a different dialect? Would you be able to identify a gray dwarf speaker from a regular, from a surface dwarf speaker? I would say yes. So just from what I know, from what I'm hearing, this is gray dwarf. Yep. And I'm assuming they're operating in pitch black. You hear a whip crack. And you hear a shout in Elven. Okay. Are we are we in pitch black then? Oh yeah. Okay, so they're they're operating in the underdark in the dark. Yep. You're in the lead, boss. No, I mean I, I halt as soon as we hear start hearing voices. Okay. Then, obviously, like I'm not gonna just walk up to people. I reach up and kind of put my you know because I can't see shit. Um, I'll put my hand that's not on the glaive on Lucas's back and just like move closer towards him so I can whisper in his ear. Yeah. And just let him know that those are gray dwarfs. I mean, I can't see shit, so you have to be—you have to be the eyes here. But at least I can hear that much. Right. How do you want to proceed, lass? I don't speak Elven, so I have no idea what that cry was. I, I mean, don't. As far as we can tell, it's a shout of pain. So it did sound that way. Right. But can we justify? You'll hear dwarven laughter. Can we justify how many voices we're hearing? Like a lot? Is it two, three? You hear two or three, but then when they laugh after the dwarf gets whipped. Or after the elf gets whipped, you hear probably a dozen. Okay. Can we by chance tell the gender of said dwarf through its wail? Elf. The elf is wailing. The elf? Um, I mean, is it high-pitched, more female? Or is it a little lower, more male? Does it sound know, like all, Troy? They're all kind of dancing around <laughs> Does it sound stuff? like Eleanor? Um, it wasn't in your head, so no. <laughs> ah, look at you go. <laughs> no, can you see anything? I don't know that you know what her voice sounds like. That's fair. She's no. She spoke like once outside of her head. One word. But you're the only one who heard it, so you would know. Uh, uh, can you? Do I see them, or am I we just hearing them? You're far enough away that you're you're not able to really make out a whole lot. Right. If if you get closer, you you're pretty sure that that, that someone will notice you. Right. Because you're dragging al- along the chick in he- in is it heavy armor or is it medium? Uh, I don't actually know. Uh, either way, clanking armor. Yeah, medium doesn't cause the the issue. It's, it should be heavy. No. Well, unless medium it's chain, do- chain mail. Medium, medium does yeah. still incur disadvantage. I guess it depends Some on what you're wearing. What are, you, are you wearing chain mail? Try something. I don't remember if you picked up splint mail. No, I'm still in chain. Okay. There was a reason why, but I don't know. Um, He's busy, so I'll wait. No, go ahead. I, I, would, I would whisper, Nexus would whisper, I don't think either of us are exactly ready for battle here. So we back off, wait it out. Or I'll f*** with him. Spells I actually have. I'll see it. I mean, I've got my version if that's what you're looking for. Um, both of you make me an intelligence check. No, it's a nine. It's a lot better than you both have badges. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we have badges from. I'm thinking about whether or not I could save the elf though. We have badges from a city that we're no longer in. He does have a good point. We don't necessarily know that we're near Grackle Stug. I mean, they were given to us by a dragon, but that doesn't mean out here. We have no idea. That's true. Um, 
So you can do minor illusion, right, Lucas? I can. Um, I'm really bad at spells. That's why I need to. Um, no, because I'm wondering if we should fuck with them. If I could, if I can tickle their brains with detect thoughts. Right. Um. So I don't have invisibility or anything, so I realize that would be good. That's what the the. What's your dark vision? Sixty feet. And he can't see them. Yeah. Okay. Then I can't help. It's thirty. Within feet. thirty feet. Yeah. I wanted to see. I knew it had a range, but I wanted to see what it was. Yep. I was going to tickle their brains and have you do a minor illusion thing, but I don't think that's going to work. I mean, if I could see them, I could cast message in their heads too. I'm not worried about that. It's just if I tickle their brains and probe deeply, and then they suddenly like see an illusion of a mind flare. Yep. Not wrong. It's a thought, but I can't tickle their minds. Um, to get closer than you are right now, it would be a group stealth check at disadvantage. Right. Do they seem like they're passing by us? Yeah. Um, I would just recommend that we hold and let them walk by. Which is what I was suggesting a minute ago, yeah. Okay. Take this out as an advantage to take a short rest if we can. Because if more of these guys pop up, we're going to be need- we're going to need to be in fighting condition. Neither of us are. At least I'm not. Well, you're a warlock. You're never in fighting condition. It'd be great to have a couple of spell slots back. And my health. You know, warlocks have the same hit points and everything that clerics do. Then why do you suck so much, Lucas? Devin didn't do half I bad. I fell 130 fight. feet. That was, that was a while ago. That was a while ago. <laughs> That's not the point. <laughs> That's got nothing to do with your hit points now. It's because I just heard that episode today. Um. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, we'll stand and let them go by. Okay. okay. They will pass by. Cool. I do want to take this as an opportunity to take a short rest, though. All right. Take a damn short rest. I need health. I'm down to 10 out of 42. Because you get that plus your con modifier, right? You do. Um, and you can go one at a time. Yeah. Use one. That's probably good enough. I'll use one. Gets me back to 31. Shit. We've noticed. Okay. Uh, I'm okay with 31. So we know which way they came from and which way they were going, right? You do. Did they ever say anything like, ha ha, taking this slave to the slave pen? Did they? Was there any bit of conversation or interesting nuance that make another perception check sure maybe where my d20 go 10 plus perception 14 uh yeah you could have caught snippets of conversation about slaves um you're you could probably infer that there is a cartload okay so there was a grouping of slaves but they didn't mention like the shattered spire or any other bit of geography or anything that would have gave me an idea where we're at high or low uh, low. Oh, you want me to roll it too? Roll it. I rolled an eight. Nope. Out of, I was saying eight out of eighty out of a hundred, eight out of ten. Um, okay. You would have heard the ter- the 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 word mantle dareth. That doesn't mean anything to me. It's probably in your notes. Sounds like a name. I don't think it sounds like a name. Kind of sounds like a name. Mantle. Yeah, I'm thinking I, rock. I, I, I thought that's where it's a city. We've heard it before. <clears throat> Guess we don't need to worry about Tommy the spectator. And he's probably gone back too far. I'm assuming we heard about it recently. Yeah. I do not have a note about Mantle Dareth. Okay. Never mind. So what are you guys going to do? Um, if they're heading to some city, maybe we should follow them. We don't know if they're heading to or away from. It's either or. Yes, it is, in fact. Thank you. <laughs> well, you got to go from one city to another now, don't you? You've never been in the Underdark, have you? No. No, I haven't. Um, not exactly enjoying it. I flick. <laughs> I pull back out my light, take the Cormirian coin, flip it, look at it. And then turn and start walking in a direction. Which one? Doesn't really matter, does it? It yeah, only really matters to you. Which way do you go? Following uh, them or going the opposite way? You choose, Jeff. Nope. We'll let the dice I, choose. I go that way. I'll, I'll roll. I'll, I'll just roll a d6, high or low, to go to follow them. You're the one who flipped the coin. Right. No, I was just going to walk in a direction. It really doesn't matter. Just roll. We go to the left. It's a five. Are you following them, or are you going the opposite way? Whichever way left is, Jeff. We came to a T, so we must go to a left or to a right. Okay. Okay. They were going from right to left, and they were following them. They're going left to right. We're going the way they oppositely did. You deal with your head cannon, Jeff. I'm just going to keep walking till I run into something interesting, or something captures me. Okay. Probably the latter. More than likely. <laughs> You're going the way that they... Okay. Okay. They've got... They, they're about a, an hour ahead of you. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll just keep on walking, slowly but surely. You can see that this this path is more finished. Okay. More well used, you mean? No, finished. Like closer to a out? Closer to a road than a cavern. Gotcha, okay. Probably nice and flat, not a lot of hills. Yeah. yeah. Smoothed out. The further you go, almost more like paving stones. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. 
Do we get any better sense of where we are? Uh, no, not really. Uh, after about an hour, you come to a dead end. Okay. Like a complete dead end? Like a wall? Yeah. Where the hell did they go? Were there any branches on the path? Mm -mm. Nope. I go up and... Drop the pointy stick in Dwarven. Can I tell where it came from? Nope. It's kind of echoey. I just kind of look around. Why? At least if, at least if a voice in the darkness is going to make a threat, you could make me feel like it's a credible threat. You're going to look awful funny as a pincushion. It's fair. Do I get the sense that I see archers anywhere? Nope. How high does this cavern go up? 30 feet. Is it a Durgar voice? Yep. Do I see this individual? No. Detect thoughts? Mm hmm. Do I detect any thoughts within 30 feet of me? Yes. Detect ma uh, magic doesn't magic doesn't give me anything. Never mind. And what are the surface level thoughts of those things? Do they appear to be taking aim? Yes. Yes, they do. Close to a dozen. Fair enough. Uh, they're not lying. Um, Didn't appear so. Mr. Uh, disembodied Voice, can I ask a question? Gorglack. Gorglack. Do I know Gorglack? Nope. Actually, you might. Uh, we'll get to that. Fair enough. <laughs> because there's a piece of, there's an item that I forgot to give you at some point. And we'll, we'll do that when everybody's back together. Gorglack. Can you answer me a question before uh, your invisible friends shoot me full of holes? Better be a damn good one. Could you at least tell me where I am? I'd like to know where I may die or may kill some of your friends. You're not going to die because <laughs> you'll make a good slave. <laughs> Fair enough. Where am I? You're outside the east gate of Gracklestad. Oh, so then does this mean anything to you? As I hold up whatever that the thing Both is. Both crossbow bolts go off as you reach into your pocket. It's fair. No. I mean, I thought we were just wearing them, honestly. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't I know. know. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Just kind of go, look, we're good. We're good here. Uh, make a, percep or a persuasion check I'm at sure an I'm, advantage. I'm sure I'm great at those. Is it advantage or a... I'm assuming that's a charisma thing. At oh. advantage. That's good. Persuasion. That was a one. <laughs> Twelve's a little better I mean, for a grand total of thirteen. Am I able to roll or no? Got the same. I got the same badge. You do. Yeah, you should be the talky person. You Don't should be. <laughs> Unfortunately, you weren't. <laughs> so yes or no? Can I roll? You can tell me no. It's fine. Yes, that's fine. Is that wait? Is that with advantage as well or no? Yeah. So natural twenty. Twenty-seven. He does it with a flourish of fireworks. <laughs> Thanks, Nord Games. You'll be let back into the city. Thank you for without, not without turning me into a pin cushion. Molestation. Thank you for not turning me into a fucking pin cushion. Okay, so you guys have been gone for about two hours. As far as we can tell. Two and a half because you had your meltdown. <clears throat> right, but I'm beginning to wonder where the fuck uh, Bupito and Sarath are. Rumpadump. Or Rumpadump. They are probably still sitting there wondering where the hell you guys went. So we came in the east gate, right? Yep. I don't remember how it, how it looked on the map, so... How close is that to where we left them? Not close, I imagine. Uh, remember the gate where you guys walked by and Kira thought, hey, we could get out here easy. And Troy saw all the invisible guys? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. That, that's that gate. Okay. Um, We're still at the Shattered Spire, right? Or no, not the... Whatever the hotel is. Yeah, the Shattered Spire's the bar. It's the something bullet. You guys are coming in here. Yeah, I knew. As soon as you t said that, I knew what you were talking about. You're just south of the giant cavern. Okay. The Goldberg's Lair. We're still staying there at the end, right? You are. Okay. Uh, let's go there first. Sounds good. That's where everyone would meet. Okay. So I'll go. That's where we'll go. We'll go to the end. Okay. Who's there? <laughs> <laughs> he Who looks dramatically towards the door. Who is there? You see, uh, who would be there? Stool. Uh, Stool runs up and hugs uh nexus uh, as soon as you walk in the door uh, and poofs and starts telling you how much he's missed you and all the things that have happened and easy the, easy mate the door the 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 door guy is a is an asshole well, we knew says, that we says knew he that. leaves a says i leave a mess all over you. hey you know we um, found a bit of fend for you we'll bring him back soon the three deep gnomes are still there okay topsy turvy and jim jar uh, I don't have one of those cards. Do you have one? Who is still there? Darendil is still there. Uh, Sarath is not there. Uh, I start speaking and in Fargus. Fargus is there. So most of them are here. Yep. Wait, Fargus is there? Yes. The halfling. Fargus. The halfling that you found in the silken paths. Yeah. And oh, I guess I. Okay. The rogue. 
Well, were we with that? Yeah, yeah, because I was, I was playing. You were Glug. Um, I'm gonna speak to Eldith in Dwarven. Yes. I don't want to alarm. I don't want to alarm you, but uh, you seen anybody else? What do you mean anybody else? Has anyone else come back besides the two of us? No, no. Who? I mean, Sarah took off the other day. Right, but um, since we left this morning. No, no. What? What? Where's Morik and, El- and Eleanor? I don't know. The, I'm ho- I'm hoping they're here. Do we, we don't know. Do we need to go find them? Uh, I, I don't know yet. I just need someone to keep an eye on these folk for a little bit longer. We want to go out and look, but they may come meet. They may try and come back here. That's why I want to come here and let you folks know where we were. Okay. Did you Did you find Sarah? We did. He's he. We got split up as a group. He's still down there. I think down we can where? Go. Down there. It's the under dark, so he's under the darkness. <laughs> he's deeper under the darkness. Well, uh, I need you to keep an eye on them and and see what see who comes back. Okay. Because chances are we uh we're pulling a usual and we'll need to cut town pretty quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Our title track, Elders, is brought to you by Sleep for the Weary off their debut album, Nocturnes. Learn more about Sleep for the Weary at sleepforthewearied.com or by following the link on our homepage at rancorsbrothel.com. Enjoy the cards used during the podcast? Check out those and many other excellent Nord Games products at nordgamesllc.com. Tell them the Rancor's Brothel sent you. Want to support the podcast? Donate to the cause at patreon.com slash rancors underscore brothel. Patrons receive exclusive content, the opportunity to play games with us, the chance to win unique prizes, and more. And don't forget to join in the conversation on Facebook by following the Rancor's Brothel and joining the group, Fans of the Rancor's Brothel. Follow us on Twitter at at rancors underscore brothel and email your comments and suggestions to between two crits at gmail.com. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Most of all, keep circulating the tapes. Much love, listeners. You listen.